What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. We are down to 100,000 coins, guys. I've just been bronze pack methoding and it, it just it leaves you in a negative. No, I'm joking. Um, I've got some investments. We've currently got 121 cards. I want to invest the other 100,000 coins that I've got before 6pm for market matchups as well and then hopefully... Uh, flip that and make a whole bunch of profit. I've also got three packs currently in store. Uh, we've got two rare gold packs. I, I played and won a draft, and that is the start of Project Team of the Year. I opened the 7.5k pack to try and generate some coins back. And I've got a Prime Electron Players pack, which we're not going to open here today, but we are going to open. It's not part of Project Team of the Year. The only packs that are going to be part of Project Team of the Year are going to be the packs that we end up picking up from drafts, all right? So everything else will get opened. But because Team of the Week so bad and there's no promo cards in packs until tomorrow... We are going to save our packs until 6 p.m. tomorrow. I've also completed the Silver Stars. Uh, so we get Adeyemi there. Um, quite a nice player, actually. Uh, it's got some good stats about him. You know, you know of course, links to our uh, Mukhtar, but no longer to our Okafor because, you know, we discarded him and that or accidentally put him in an upgrade SBC. But he's cool. Four-star skill moves. Nice pace. Like, fairly nice dribbling. Uh, and we'll be good for the next Silver Stars objective. So we're very, very happy with him. And uh, outside of that, I've still got to do the Silver Beasts and we've still got to get on with the EFL Championships. But it, of course, is Rewards Day. And uh, as we go into Rewards, Gad, thank you very much for sending your viewers over to the stream, man. Very much appreciated. Let me turn on my aircon as well because it is hot in my office right now. Um, yeah, I, I, I didn't play. I only played 28 Rivals games. I would be very upset if I didn't get Div 1 Rank 1. Um, I, was, I was well ahead. So there, there we go. And I'm going to be taking tradable rewards, guys, because once again, these aren't going to be for um, Project Team of the Year. We're going to be opening these tomorrow. And if I pack something of note, I want to be able to sell it to start reinvesting those coins, right? So one ultimate pack, one mega pack, and 1,500 uh, foot champs points. And of course, we're going to play a couple of games today with our brand new team uh, as well. And that leaves us with our foot champs rewards. Of course, a couple more mega packs, 30,000 more coins to invest into, uh, into the market for us um two megas one rare and uh 2000 more for champs qualification points kind of pointless and just two red player picks now obviously griezmann would be the the ideal um uh, fabian's okay four star four star he's very 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 generic as far as a player goes i'm more interested in depaul he's got in my opinion only four star three star but he's got a better better card. And because he's lower rated, never thought I'd say this, but it might be worth taking a lower rated player so that if we ever need him in like a managerial masterpiece style squad, he would be way better. His dribbling's real nice. His passing's real nice. His shooting's quite nice. His pace is good and he's got 81 stam. He's got more pace, same shooting, more passing, more dribbling and about the same physical as uh, Fabian. So, you know, Fabian's high rated, guys. I'm going to take the pull out of that. I just think he has better um, better opportunities to be used long term. And then secondly, <laughs> um, Costil is just not worth it, is he? Did I get this guy twice, this Japanese guy? We get Wegged Horse there. Who's not terrible, you know? Really good physicals. Fairly good dribbling aside from agility and balance and dribbling. Um, really nice shooting, terrible passing, and really, really slow. So if, if we did take Fabian, we would have got 284s. That wouldn't have been terrible. That wouldn't have been terrible. So there are two red player picks, guys. And uh, as I say, in terms of rewards right now, that is all we've got because we're going to save those packs for tomorrow. Maybe, may, may, hey, listen. Listen, you guys are here for some rewards. Let's give you some rewards, right? We'll give you one mega pack for, for the... Uh, we'll give you one mega pack. For, for, for being here, for the memes, right? You get what you get, and you don't get upset. We get boards. Oh, this is this is magic. It's going to be Rashford, isn't it? It's about, oh, never mind. Oh, it's it's not even a Yarzabal. It's uh, it's whatever his name is. I don't know what his name is. We get Diaby, James, Jacques, Lecon. Uh, we're going to have marquee matchups later as well, uh, which I will open uh, probably open like the bad packs from marquee matchups as well. Uh, we get a hawk, a hunter, a catalyst, some other consumables. Not too bad. A Santos badge, an Ibar Stadium theme, a Puma Full, a Willian who can go. Probably should have saved him actually because uh, Arsenal Spurs are likely to be in marquee matchups, aren't they? Uh, Kalinic can go, and that can go into the bank. So uh, there you go, guys, and uh, I will see you 
probably for some team tactics and uh, the new squad that we're going to play for uh, over the, the Rivals games today. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back to the Road to Glory. Um, before we go into uh, a couple of Rivals games for today's video, um, one thing that we get asked for a lot is what are my tactics? Now, I will say this. I wouldn't recommend just copying someone's tactics and hoping it works for you. I would always recommend developing tactics to suit your play style and the way you play. But obviously, we get asked a lot. And as you can see from the uh, game plans there, I've got the 4-4-2 long ball when we was playing that. I don't use it anymore. The, these are just the generic drop back and fast build up the, the defensive and attacking ones in a 4-3-2 one that we obviously don't use. This is the tactic I've used for the last like 25, 30 games. And uh, it's balanced with five width, five depth. It's long ball with uh, seven width and seven players in box and then one corners and free kicks. Of course, we use the 5-2-2-1-2. Two, two, one, two. Dalglish and Neymar up front, Alessandrini at Cam, Mole and Talisca in the midfield, Bellerin, Gomez, Gattuso, Walker and Mendy across the back line. And in terms of player instructions, getting behind and stay forward on the two attackers. And I believe it's stay forward on the Cam. Otherwise, he drops into the CDM role for some weird reason. Uh, we've got balanced and cover centre and stay back and cover centre for the two centre mids. And then I think it's stay back. Oh no, it's balanced for Mendy and balanced for Bellerin. There you go. So it's... it's, it's it's not a defensive formation, even though there's five at the back. It really isn't a particularly defensive formation. We've got Delafeu on the bench this time for the first time. Um, so it'd be nice to get him into the team and uh, have a have a little try with him. Um, and uh, yeah, let's see what we're up against for this first game. Oh my good lord. Van der Sar, Cannavaro, Vieira and Rush. Red Messi, or well, in for Messi. Rashford, Goretzka, Alessandrini, Mukieli, Varane and Mendy. What a team. What a team. Um, of course, the aim is just to score goals, right? All we want to do is get as many goals as we can. I would rather lose but score five or even lose but score three would be uh, acceptable than um, than win one nil. Although one nil, it wouldn't be too bad. But yeah, I, I want to start pushing up the skill rating back to the 2100 mark, which is where we were uh, before we had a horrible week a couple of weeks ago. And uh, yeah, let's get into some action. Tried to track the run of Messi, just couldn't, just couldn't. I try. I, I shouldn't have been switching into my defenders really, but I thought I could. Uh, thought I could have kept up with the run of him there. I genuinely thought that was a foul there. Two 0 down, guys. Getting countered again constantly. Obviously uh, against like lesser players. It's not too much of a problem against uh, players that have a the team like this guy has and is as good as this guy is. We just get punished on every counter. On Kenny Powell, that's a pen. Surely that's a penalty. I genuinely don't know how that's not a pen. And then from his goalkeeper, it's one throw, one pass, and then a goal. It's got to be a foul. Man, how is this guy getting away with all of this? How, that's like the third time he's fouled me and got the ball back off of it, man. God damn it. Under some pressure. Given it away. It's there for him. Oh, this game, guys. This game. <sighs> Not surprising. Like This guy's got an obviously insane team, right? Just, it, I, I certainly don't deserve to be 6-0 down. But it is what it is. You get what you get. You don't get upset. Well, I appreciate the points. 
I, I, I do appreciate the points from uh, from our main man right here. Oh, I'm very grateful for his uh, for his uh, for his points boosting for me there. I assume now he'll probably play. Well, what a nice guy. What a nice guy. <clears throat> I'm not going to do him dirty like that after he was uh, nice enough to give me, uh, the, you know, give me the goals for the points. It's, it's five goals I just don't deserve. It's, it's points I literally didn't earn and didn't deserve. So I'm, I'm grateful for, for him giving me the points. I'm not going to try and like screw him out of a, out of a win for that. It, listen, his team was ridiculously good, man. He was a nice player as well. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, Allison with two saves, man. What like? I don't think it will show them, mind you. But again, not necessarily deserved points. What is it like? Five hundred and ten points for that, which is pretty good. He had twenty two hundred skill rating. Fair enough. I mean, listen. Respect to him for for allowing the uh, allowing the goals. Respect to him for having such a high skill rating, and. Uh, GG's to him. What do we get? 570. Oh, wait, more than that. 600. Oh, that's not bad, is it? 600 points for a loss. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> Into the next game we go. We're up against 4 3 2 1. He's got Delefeu in there, Lozano, Mertins. Hey, listen, other than Mendy and uh, Varane and Red Ronaldo, none of the usual suspects. All right. That, that, that's both a lucky. And a, a deserved goal. How? How has Courtois got that? How has Kenny not like latched onto that before? Look, he's going down the left now. I can see it, yeah. Oh, as if. As if he's got in there. That's crazy game. Go, Dalglish, man. Come on. God damn it. I hate playing like this, guys. I hate playing frustrated. I hate playing like I'm, like, on edge. You know what I mean? But now now it's just through with Ronaldo again. Just uh, another... Oh, ball down the line. Let's go. I've aimed at the... I deserve that goal. I aimed that at the near post. I'll take this. Not giving their opponents a moment's peace. I'll take this. That's a good win. That, that, that was a frustrating player to play against. Yeah, that, that was a really frustrating player to play against. All he did is hit on counters, man. Allison did make four saves. He's called 12 or two. But uh, yeah, very, very happy to take that win there. Look at that. 60. This is my problem, right? This is where I need to improve. I don't even need to improve on my defending, right? I need to improve on turning my possession into goal scoring chances because most games we dominate possession like this most games we have around the 60 percent mark of possession but also most games we have around the same amount of chances as our opponent and that's just because as soon as they pick up the ball it's pass pass goal and that's it just you know what i mean it's it, there's no no like build up play or anything like that people literally just play super defensive and counter attack and because of how many overpowered attackers there are in the game this year it's really easy to just send the ball down to a Ronaldo or down to a, a Delefeu or some other guy with like 95 to 99 pace. And that's just not how I play. I, I, I've tried playing that way. I don't like it. I can't do it. It's just not in my nature to sit super deep, wait for possession and then, you know, bang it forwards. Um, so if I could just start turning this possession here, because look at that. I had 28% in the midfield. I had as much of the ball just about in his third as he did. You know, and that speaks volumes about how offensive I am. 
and I just need to t turn those into into goals. You know, um, that that's got to be the next step for me because that way, if somebody hits me on five or six counters a game but only scores one or two of them, but I'm banging in four or five goals, happy days, right? It's, it's no big deal. However, we get a three goal win, uh, so another another nice amount of points there. Um, what's that like? 770 for that game. That's not bad at all. Um, I, I would be surprised if that guy was less than 2100 skill rating. I mean, there you go, 2217. And the the fact the fact that first of all we played two players over 2200 skill rating in a row is a bit crazy. I, I wish EA would kind of uh, give me a bit of a break and either match me against evenly skilled players or lower skill players instead of constantly getting these higher skill players. Um, but secondly, um, you know. Obviously, he he gets the 2200 skill rating because he just bangs that goal with, uh, you know, like bang, bangs it out essentially with, with that Ronaldo all the time. Down the wing, into Ronaldo, down the wing, into Ronaldo. But uh, here we are. We've got goal done. Uh, very nice indeed. Season progress. That doesn't give us a pack yet, does it? No, we've got the badge. Ooh, a badge. High noon, hard boiled. Let's take the hard boiled badge. Um, Not that I really care. I mean, I have got one of the season season badges in there, I suppose. But um, yeah, we're about 4k away from the next uh, the next setup. The objectives, we're in good spots, man. I will do Silver Beast this evening. Um, this will happen naturally. The rest of it, I don't know if I'm going to focus on because it doesn't really matter all that much. And uh, yeah, that's where we're at. So we'll, we'll see what comes at six, guys. And we'll see if we can make uh, any any profit from our 205 invested players. And so I will be right back. All right, guys. So to end off today's Road to Glory, I don't know how long today's video is going to be. It won't be a super long one. Um, some of the stuff that I had from last week's investing is is finally selling uh, right there. Some of those guys. But EA have released a whole bunch of stuff. Um, new marquee matchups, which of course we're going to complete, but also the Eredivisie uh, Foundation objectives, which is causing Eredivisie players to go through the roof, of course. Now, we will complete them, of course. Interestingly enough, I don't really rate the Eredivisie players too much, which means a lot of these players that we've got will be able to sell for a decent price and start making some coins. Maybe not maybe not Iron Robins, but um, somebody said like the bronze players are going now. We're going to need some silvers because for, uh, you know, managerial masterpiece, the silver Eredivisie players are expensive. Um, so I, don't, I want to try and just get them gone as quick as possible for some good coins. I don't really care too much to try and get like that mental uh, value out of them so if i'm getting like even 3k per card i'll be uh, i'll be very very happy with that um and then i'll then go and uh give you guys a little look at what i invested in for marquee matchups kind of explain why i wonder why bronzes are selling because you can't put bronzes in managerial masterpiece it does seem like you know around 3k per uh silver is the going price which is quite nice we'll just pop them on open bid and uh, let them go even if we get 1.3k for them it's not bad and then we'll check the bronze price as well and uh another another good uh yeah 3.3k there maybe, maybe 2.4 would be better um another good day for for trading for us we're still at like almost 100,000 coins which is fantastic oh my good lord um yeah we're still at like 100,000 coins which is brilliant um because i've got so many players up for grabs that we can sell on now and start cleaning house now we've got a lot of untradeable Eredivisie players which is obviously very nice I don't know how much bronzes are actually selling for yeah, he's he, man if we could even get like 1400 coins per bronze especially for the goalkeepers oh we've got that Triore untradeable we've actually got a decent untradeable squad that we could put together here um and Promes as well you know I definitely you only need seven and i've got seven how about that you need seven players i've got seven players tagliafico a bit high rated but we'll be able to put our ear divisi squad together with promise and the the other boys that you've got there i wouldn't even sell this promise even if I, if even if i could um so that guys puts us oh my good lord i should have sold robin for more oh my god look at that let's go man huge profits there Club stock in OP, boys. I mean, we didn't even have like too much in there, but club stock in OP. We made a load of a uh, load of good coins there. And then what I've got here, I've got some Irish League silvers and some uh, other silvers, which I don't think paid off very well. 
And then we've got players like this. Now, what's he selling for? He's 7.50 on bid. I don't think the La Liga centre-backs actually went up too much. Uh, we'll try and get rid of them to lazy buyers. But I also went and picked up a whole bunch of Premier League um, commons and rares. I don't know if they're here. I'd have to sort through what I've got here first. They're not here. So I'll have to go and sort through that because uh, I don't know how I'm going to get rid of those silvers and stuff. But basically, I think now once we sell everything, we'll, we'll be close to like four or 500,000 coins once everything we've got sells. Um, and then for obviously for marquee matchups, uh, where is it? Squad building challenges. For marquee matchups, I'm not going to do Hector Herrera, guys. I don't want him. Oyarzabal, I don't care about. Depay, I don't want. Um, the Silvers might sell because of the... Uh, the other stuff there. So we've got UA for Champions League thing there. I'm not going to do. UA for marquee matchups, I will do. And we'll save those packs for tomorrow night at 6. Marquee matchups, I will do. And we'll save those packs for tomorrow night at 6 as well. Just so that we can get the best out of that uh, that we can get. And then obviously the new content that EA have put out is the um, the new objectives. We've sold another player. Man, I wish I had more. I wish I had more. The the And, and the reason why they're selling so much is because of this right here. The Eredivisie Foundation players... I love the foundation stuff that EA are doing. I just think that they're taking a step backwards with the actual players. I, I did a detailed video of them on the main channel. And it's one of those weird ones where it's like, these players are worse in-game than players that we've had for like four weeks, you know? Um, so I don't really understand it too much. I wish EA would just make them not necessarily better, but just as good, you know? Still usable, but they're not. Um, and so for today, guys, a bit of a short one. Only a couple of games, couple of gameplay, a couple of bits of gameplay there. And uh, yeah, just we're still working on obviously the project team of the year, which has been uh, really, really nice so far. We've got 1,200 for him. That's quite nice. Um, because we are now up to 100,000 coins worth of packs saved for project team of the year. Uh, two rare gold packs and one rare players pack. So uh, that's our project team of the year start so far. Of course, we've got a long way to go for that before team of the year comes. And then tomorrow we'll open a rare players pack, a couple of megas, the ultimate pack, the prime electrums. And all the other packs that we'll pick up between now and then. So even though a bit of a slower day today for the Road to Glory, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.